Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Stew Dog here, and yeah, welcome back to some more Stewie Duels. Today, we're gonna be trying out Jesse Shoei's first place deck. So he said it was very consistent, so I should get a great hand, you know. So we're gonna pick Rock, cause Rock never loses, and he's also picking Rock as well. Oh no, he switched to Paper. How could you? So he said this deck is very consistent, but as you can see, this hand is really not that good at all. We need to get some Magic Specters. Or pot of desires. Hopefully, he didn't let me go first. And god dang it, he did. Oh well then, what do I do, guys? Anyone in the comments, put put down what I do. Do I just concede? Do I just surrender? Oh my god. A deck that plays like a whole bunch of magic specters. Three of each magic specter, except Kieran. And a deck that plays three pot of desires. Nah, you get nothing. You lose. And why couldn't this be a Terra Top? Like, if this would have been a Terra Top, my hand would be so much better, too. Like, oh my god, guys. Unbelievable. So, yeah. On the plus side, at least the people here in the chat are actually speaking English this time. I know in the past couple of videos on here, like, no one was speaking English. So, I was going to be activating that Dragon Shrine. Oh no, here's some random Japanese. God dang it. Just when I said, when people are actually speaking English, someone has to spam a whole bunch of random Japanese. Okay. Alright guys, so we're going up against Havoc 5. And of course it's Blue Eyes. Uh, the funny thing is I had a really good game before this, where I got a great hand. I went up against Red Eyes and then, uh, thing cr and then he just quits, really. Oh my god, I hate Def Pro. Really? Why would you quit? Your hand was good. You had the first turn graveyard set up. Like, your, how bad is your hand? Like, my hand is bad, but at least I didn't quit. All I need is one Magic Spectre. I'm right into this game because I could just go Pegasus into the Raccoon and then go Luster, Pendulum Summon, whatever, guys. So, we're going to be getting another game in. Unfortunately. But on the plus side, at least it's fast. Uh, here we go. Come on, put me in the game. Here we go. See, that wasn't that bad, guys. So, we're going to be picking Rock again. Let's see, did we win? I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, like I was saying, we had a really good game before this. And then the server just crashed for no reason. I'm like, really? Oh! Oh, baby, this hand. Don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, what? I'm not going first. God dang it. If only I was going first. Oh, God. He has no one in the extra deck. What is this? Exodia? Really? Exodia? Exodia. Oh, my God. Come on, man. Exodia. <sighs> Why? Brody, you're not going to win. One day a piece is limited. Chicken game is banned. Like, what, what are you trying to do, man? Swords Revealing Light. Okay. So hopefully I can wrap this up quickly and I guess we'll just get a third duel in. Swear to God, if I lose this game, I'm like the worst player ever. There's no reason why I should lose this game. I get to negate spell cards too, so I mean, it's whatever. Yeah. First turn Terra Top into Takatomborg. I have no idea how much money this card is still going for. It's always been at least like 15 to $20. Just way too expensive. So uh, anyway, we'll go into that. And we can only special summon wind monsters for the rest of the turn, but it doesn't really matter. As we got... Oh, I guess we can. Oh, that, is that the tribute effect or something? Yeah, you can tribute this card to special summon a speed board. Yeah, there's a second effect of it, and that's... Only you can summon winds for the rest of the turn. Which doesn't really happen too often. Especially if you're playing this deck. Now, unfortunately, this other one in my hand is like pretty useless because it can't search itself. And here it is. I guess we'll deck thin first before we play the Pot of Desires. And Wajio Pro has stopped working. Oh, yeah, buddy. As you can see, Wajio Pro has stopped working. Dot .exe I don't know why it's called Wajio Pro since um, it's actually Dev Pro, right? I, I have no idea. So unfortunately, we're 0 for 3. I cut out the first game, but I'm not cutting out these next two just to share the struggle. This is basically like a Yu-Gi-Oh vlog. I mean, 
this is what I go through every single time I try to record on this, you know, terrible platform. And it's just so annoying, guys. But, I mean, not a lot of stuff was going to happen in this game anyway. I was just going to negate anything he does and then just win the duel with, like, Tornado and Tempest. But, anyway. Um, thank you all for watching the first two duels. And then I'm going to pause the video, reset this, and then we'll get, hopefully, an, uh, an actual game in. So, thanks for watching. Alright, guys. We're back with the, I think this is the third duel. The third duel of this video, the fourth duel of my attempt of trying to make this video. So hopefully everything can just go fine. Hopefully no one quits. Hopefully I can go up against, you know, an actual deck, not Exodia. Hopefully the Dev Pro doesn't crash. So let's see. Oh, baby. So we got um, the first turn Totem Bird play again. We do got Tempest and Cat. Um, Storm is pretty useless, but... Eh. Other than that, this hand is still really good. So we're going up against another guy who does not have an extra deck. He's like, forget it, I'm too pro, man. Wow. Unfortunately, we do not open up uh, Zapata Desires. And apparently my opponent just had question mark. Why did he have question mark? What? Why is he saying question mark in the chat? I have no idea. Whatever. We'll just um, exceed Shogun, and then we'll normal summon this. Activate its effect, of course. I'm not going to be that noob who doesn't announce Cat's effect when it's summoned. <laughs> and then, oh god. I mean, it's a 45 card deck. What are the odds he has Twin Twister? I mean, come on. I was thinking about only set in one, because I mean, uh, who the heck's main deck in MST? And then Twin Twister would kind of like blow me out, but I mean, come on, what are the odds of that? So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to go up against an actual deck. I mean, we might. I mean, you don't have to have an extra deck to be pro. I mean, just look at the guy who won North American Nationals. He didn't have an extra deck. It's like the first time ever in Yu-Gi-Oh! history someone wins the Nationals and doesn't have an extra deck, man. So, I mean, I'm not saying he's bad, but, I mean, mm, Domain Monarchs kind of really fell off the radar. So, let's find out. what is he, What is he playing? Oh, and by the way, oh, man, he's gonna normal summon the Man Eater Bug. Unbelievable! <laughs> what is this real life? <laughs> oh my God! He's going to normal summon the Man Eater Bug, guys. Flip, select and destroy one monster on the field. But unfortunately, in order to get this effect, you have to flip it. And when you normal summon the Man Eater Bug. Um, it, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> doesn't happen, so let's see, Fisher is activated, destroy a face-up monster that has the lowest attack points, and as you can see, Fisher is not going to be doing anything in this situation, because Magic Specters cannot be destroyed, my good sir. That is like the second person who does not know how to read Magic Specters on Dev Pro, like the second, I don't do a lot of duels on Dev Pro, I hardly do any, but, um, that is like the second guy I've gone up against who's going to be featured on my YouTube channel, who cannot read Magic Specters. Like, come on, bro. Is it that hard to read? I think it's not even that long of a card text. It doesn't even have a pendulum effect. So, th this is the best play ever, guys. He's going to normal summon Man Eater Bug. He's too pro to set it. Maybe he has Earth Honest. I don't know, guys. Does he have Earth Honest? Oh, he might have Earth Honest. Oh, my God. What do I do? Oh, I got Tempest. I can just negate it. <laughs> what the frick is this guy doing? Oh my god. Is he just trolling? Because, I mean, when you join the checkmate server, you just go up against random guys. It's not like I'm going up against one of my fans and he's just purposely trolling to entertain you guys. I mean, it's just some random guy I went up against in the pool of players in the checkmate server. So, I mean, really? What are the odds I'm recording this? Oh my god. FML. FML, guys. FML. Oh, what the frick, man? Okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, this is more of an entertainment video, apparently. Okay, 10 minutes of entertainment. You cannot deny that was not funny. That was freaking funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. Uh, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't get to see a duel, but, I mean, that Exodia guy, you know I was going to win. And you already know the outcome of that duel. But, unfortunately, Dev Pro just crashes two times. It also crashed in the first duel. It didn't crash in that second duel because the Blue Eyes player, he just quit. 
So I I'm so sorry, but you cannot deny this was pretty entertaining. So I'm still gonna upload this video. Ah, that was hilarious, man. Like really? <laughs> Is it so hard to read Magic Specters these days? Like, oh my God, man. But uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully, you know, next week they could just fix these issues. Cause I mean, the Checkmate server was not doing this beforehand, and when I try to join the regular server here, like I just get this unfortunate error where nothing pops up, unable to connect to the host, and all we got to do is sit and stare at Photon Strike Bouncer. But uh, I've been rambling long enough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for next week when we'll have some more Stewie Duels, or we'll attempt to get some more Stewie Duels. Today is, what, October 9th? So we gotta wait, what, two and a half more weeks for Dueling Book? Because like I said, if you guys haven't watched one of my previous videos, X Steven himself told me that he is 100% confident that it will be done before the end of October. And if November comes around, if Dueling Book is still not out, then hope is just low. Hope will be very low. Because, I don't know, I guess he'd just be trolling the whole time and crushing our dreams i don't know guys so thank you for watching as always and until next time this has been stew dog and i'm signing out